Hello and welcome to Fieldwire. The plans tool in Fieldwire allows you to collaborate in real time and access your notes from anywhere. In this video, we will review the markup tools available to you and how to get the most out of them. A note before we get started. Your access to some features may be limited depending on your project permission level. Please review our permissions video for more information. When it comes to markups, project followers can only create private markups which other team members cannot see. Project members have full access to share markups with the entire team but can only delete markups they created. Project admins are able to add or delete any markup. The markup toolbar is a black vertical bar on the left side of the plan view. Here you will find task and hyperlinking tools, markup tools, a color selector, and the select and undo buttons. The drop pin icon is used to create a new task which is pinned directly to a location on your plan. Tap the drop pin icon and it will turn blue. Now tap a location on your plan sheet. Once you drop a pin, you will be prompted to provide more detail for your task. For more information on creating, assigning, and responding to tasks, see our video on tasks for mobile or web. The link icon will open a menu of several tools to make accessing your information quick and easy. While Fieldwire automatically hyperlinks your plans when possible, you can use this icon to create an additional link between plans. Select the callout icon and click a location on your sheet to hyperlink to any available plan. Use the specification icon to link a specific spec section to a plan. Use the camera icon to add photos, 360 degree photos, or videos up to 7 seconds long. You can choose between media already uploaded to Fieldwire or from your computer. To link a file on a plan, click the paperclip icon. Choose between uploading a new file or previously uploaded files. If you're on a business plan, you can also attach a form to a plan. Use the clipboard icon to create a new form from an existing template or attach a form you already started filling out. Business Plus users can link RFIs to plans. Similar to forms, you can draft a new RFI right on a plan or link an existing one. The following markup tools can be used in various colors. Before creating a markup, select the color of your choosing. To create a private markup, set the color to purple. No one, but you will see purple markups unless you export them. Click the pencil icon to reveal options for pens, highlighters, and lines. Click the shapes tool to choose between various shapes like a cloud, circle, or rectangle. Click the toolbox icon to select from a variety of symbols to place on your plan. Use the drop-down menu to select from a specific category. To create a text box, click the A. As you click on each tool, the corresponding icon will highlight blue to indicate that it is active. To exit the tool, click the icon again or use the escape key. You can take linear or area measurements on the fly by clicking the ruler icon. If you only see the calibrate icon, that means you have not yet set the plan scale. There are a few ways to set the scale on a plan. Firstly, you can select plans on the plans page, hit the actions button, then choose set scale to set the scale of multiple sheets at once. Alternatively, you can zoom into a scale or a known measurement on a plan sheet. Select the calibrate tool and carefully trace the line. Once prompted, provide the measurement. Now you will see the menu is populated with other options to take measurements. To take an area measurement, select the tool, Click on all points of the polygon you desire and double-click on the last point to stop taking an area measurement. The calculated area will appear in the center of the area takeoff. To take a multi-line measurement, click on each point that changes angles and double-click the last point to see the total dimension. A single line measurement can be taken by clicking on two points of a desired line. You can adjust individual markups by right-clicking on the object to reveal the details menu. Opening details will allow you to change the color, line thickness, or font size of an item. It also provides you with information on who made the markup and when it was last updated. Click move slash resize to alter the size or location of a markup. To copy the markup, right-click, select, duplicate, and click anywhere on your plans. You can also copy and paste individual or multiple markups across plans. You can adjust multiple markups by clicking the Select tool and dragging your mouse over your plan to select the markups in that area. If you want to choose specific markups, hold down the Shift key while clicking on your desired markups. From here, you can drag to move those markups or right-click to open the Details menu. This menu allows you to adjust multiple markups at once. 
An undo option is available to remove your last action. This includes hyperlinks that were made. To delete markups, use the Select tool and hit the Delete button on your keyboard or right-click and select Delete. Now that you're creating markups, you may find your plan gets too busy and difficult to read. You can always click on the eyeball icon to filter certain markups from view. You can quickly eliminate all layers or filter by type or color. If you prefer to use keyboard shortcuts, hold the Shift and question mark keys to pull up the keyboard shortcut menu. These can be used instead or in conjunction with the markups toolbar. For more detailed information on creating markups on plans, please check out our help article linked in the description box. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at fieldwire.com.